going on everybody z here and a welcome back to farming simulator 22. so last episode we finished off our extravaganza with grass and i did not like how grass went i didn't like it i was like so nope we're not doing grass so i decided today that i want to do a little bit of what maybe i'm familiar with so la long time ago before youtubes i did do a little bit of farming and we only ever really grew corn and soybeans so i have personally combined corn i've dealt with that so i decided what we're gonna do today is we're gonna do farm manager mode we're gonna start a farm this is going to be the beginning of hopefully an entire series where we can get things going get things done so i am a new player starting in farm manager mode i know that sounds scary but what i've done is i've played with it a little bit i think i know enough just to make me dangerous and what we're gonna do today is we're gonna start off by buying a field buying our own equipment buying everything we need and the first thing that i did was i restarted the game until i figured out which field i wanted and which one was already planted i wanted field 68 i feel like that is the field that everybody wants in this game it's the biggest most rectangular field in the game and guess what it's planted with oh yes it is planted with corn and as you see the corn is already growing which means that if i buy this field now i already have a full crop growing so all we need to do is let it grow we harvest it and we get instant profit of this entire field so what we're gonna do today is we're gonna get something we're gonna get things rocking and rolling so first thing i want to do is i want to go into farmland i want to buy this farmland it is valued at six hundred and fourteen thousand dollars however i believe we're going to be able to make an instant profit off of it because like i said it's already planted it's already done it's already ready to go so what i'm going to do is i'm going to go ahead i'm going to buy this so that field is mine so now what we need to do is we need to go ahead and we need to pick out the stuff to harvest the corn so what i want to do is i want to figure out which corn header we are going to be able to get here what is the most expensive one this one right here now the reason i want the most expensive one is because this field is massive it's mon it's monstrous it's so huge i want this one right here now what do i need for that um it's 12 meters across that's the biggest one wow that is the biggest one so i want this guy 12 meters across 127,000. you can do corn and in, in sunflowers six miles per hour so we are gonna get this guy now uh let's look at combinations here so it has to go on oh geez louise it has to go on a five hundred fifty thousand dollar tractor okay <laughs> so <laughs> Ooh, you know what let's put our money where our mouth is let's see how this goes so we're gonna buy this tractor we're gonna buy that corn hen we're gonna see what's left in order for us to uh 16,200 liters uh we're gonna need a way to move it to sell it oh my gosh this is gonna be insane okay you know what let's do this let's do it because i am confident that we're gonna make enough money off of this harvest this first harvest to then get the stuff that we need to do the other parts of the field i could be completely dead wrong here and uh, there's probably already comments down below saying do not do this what are you doing with your life you've messed it up i'm doing it i don't even care we're gonna buy it we're not leasing it we're gonna buy it um because that's what we need to do so we bought that now we need to buy this corn header so we're going to go ahead and we're going to buy this so that leaves us with two hundred and eight thousand dollars so what i need from here is i need a way to get something from point a to point b i need a cart now i would love i would love to go in and get a truck however that is going to take a little bit of money we're going to be a little bit tight on the money if we do that and then we end up buying a trailer so let's see what is a trailer that would actually even hold a relatively close amount um i need like what is the end all be all oh my gosh 138,000 Ooh. 
How much can that hold? 81.2 uh, meters cubed. 56. So that would be 138,000. That would not leave me enough to buy a truck. So I think instead what we need to do is we need to get a tractor. We need to get a big enough tractor that we can do everything we need to do. Because if I get a big enough tractor, then I can use that tractor to do everything else. So let's see what size tractor we can buy here. Um, let's look at a large tractor. Oh, geez Louise. These are pricey as well. Okay. So let's say that we're going to, we're going to need a cedar. We're going to need, we're going to need a way to plant stuff. So let's just take a quick peek here. Um, cedars planters. So if I wanted to get a good planter, $234,000. Oh my gosh. I don't know if we're going to make that much off the first season or not. Why is that one so expensive? Planters are special type of cedars. They're used for crops like maize, sunflowers, soybeans. Additionally, this cedar offers the possibility to seed directly. No previous cultivating or plowing necessary. That is a huge win. That is a huge win. So if we can get enough to get this cedar or this planter, we don't have to cultivate first. So we can just skip the step of cultivating and go straight into planting again which would be super amazing, but we've got to make the money before we can do that. Now, we need 340 horsepower. Um, a 340 horse tractor is going to be a large tractor. I don't think, is there a medium? And I'm always, I'm going with John Deere stuff if I can, because like, I'm sorry, <laughs> that's what I like. Uh, this is only 190 horse. This is 247, but that's 221,000, so I don't know that we're going to be able to get a, that big of a planter. Let me look. Let me see what we can do here. Okay, so that's the biggest planter. That does 17.8 meters across. That would be the most ideal. But it's $234,000. Uh, is there another planter that does the, that? But I don't want to I don't want to cultivate and plow beforehand if I don't have to. No, that is pretty much the only planter that can do that. So we need to make this happen. So let's do this. Let's instead... See what money we make. Let's go grab our harvester. Let's go grab our vehicle head. And let's figure out maybe how much money we, we can make. So we can carry it in the harvester itself. Actually, I'm pretty sure we can just like speed over here. Um, vehicle shop, visit. And then boom, all our stuff's right here. So we can take this guy and, and sell it directly from here. We don't actually have to have a cart. It would be faster if we didn't, but we don't have to. So let's hop into here and let's back up. Now, I do want to explain. I do have one mod running and it's not really a mod that changes the game. It is a mod that allows me to use Sim Dashboard, which is basically a uh, an app that runs in tandem like on my Android phone or tablet. It's pretty neat. I got to say it is really cool. So basically I can do things from this phone or tablet uh, like we can turn on uh, like so. OK, lights. There's front lights. Um, we've got high beams, which I can't even see. Are, do we even have high beams? I don't think we have high beams. Hazard lights, which are now on. We can turn those off. Uh, we can do all kinds of things. So it's pretty cool. It tells us uh, some handy information. I like it. I think it's neat. So we're going to head over to our new field, and we're going to see what we can do with it. And we're starting. Hopefully, this will begin the, the be the beginning of a new series of where we keep the continuous save going. We, we can start with one thing, hopefully make enough money to like make the game, you know, because let's face it, I have to record videos. I have to, you know, I have to do things in a timely manner because I can't just sit around all day and play a game and then get one episode out of it. I like to try to get things you know, done, try to keep them interesting, you know? So let's head over to our new field uh, that we cannot harvest currently. <laughs> and then uh, we'll get going on that. Ooh, we got a bridge. Oh my gosh. This is a super tight squeeze. I'm glad that the head that we have folds like this. Like that is so nice that it's a folding head. Now, one thing I really like about this field as well is that we are right here next to a sell point to which we can sell to. Now we in like right now in the beginning, I don't think, Ooh, we're going to see what the, uh, the price of the corn is here. Um, if I can, and it's not too much of a loss, I'm just going to sell right here because like this is not our field, but the field over is our field. So um, I'm hoping, hoping that we can just sell right here. 
And then I also, I like, there's a plot of land over here that I kind of like. It's a little expensive for what it is, honestly. But I kind of like it because it is, one, right next to this field. And two, it's going to be a good, like, headquarters for all of our, all of our farming adventures. Oh, that is some weedy corn. Oh, my gosh. So I'm just going to go ahead. I'm going to park this right in here. Right off the field. And then we're going to run over here. So this is our corn. Um, Fertilized weed is 100%. Jeez Louise. Jeez Louise. <laughs> so this plot of land right here. So uh, let us let me take you into the map view real quick. And I'll show you kind of like what this plot of land includes. Uh, so if we go to farmland, it includes this whole section right here. So these, these four fields and this whole center section. Now, these two fields, I don't really care about. I mean, we'll probably plant them to something. But what I like is I like, I like this big parking area right here. It's perfect for equipment, perfect for holding everything. Now, I don't think we can actually sell any of, well, I can't actually sell these buildings because I don't, I, don't, I don't own this. Um, but I don't think these buildings actually function. I don't think there's anything here that we can actually use because I, I like I said, I did a little bit of testing. This doesn't work. These don't actually do anything. This building doesn't do anything. That barn doesn't do anything. The house doesn't do anything. So I'm hoping that maybe we can sell some of the stuff. If not, we still have this big, huge area to park and do all of our farming operations out of this field because, I mean, I think this field is going to net us some serious casholas. And that is all what, that, that is what we're here what we're all about here at Z1 Acres, you know, all about that cash money, cash money. So I guess the only thing now is we need to figure out when we can actually harvest the corn. So corn can be harvested in two days or two months. And then we need to get all of the corn out and we need to get it sold as quickly as possible. Now I tried to do this with a smaller planter or a, a smaller machine, smaller setup. Um, yeah, it is like, it, it's just a grueling, awful task to do. So, um, all right, we're going to go ahead. I'm going to speed up time here. Now there is a farmhouse that we could buy. Actually, let's see this area. What area did this include? So farmland, I own this area. I wonder if there's a, a way for me to squeeze a house in over here. Cause the farmhouse allows you to sleep instantaneously. Hmm, the farmhouse would be really nice, but it's $150,000. Uh, and I don't think, let me just, let's, let's just take a peek here. So if we went to construction sheds, farmhouses, if we wanted to build a farmhouse, overlaps another object. I mean, we could put a farmhouse right here. I don't think it wants us to. This would allow us to sleep instantaneously, or I can just turn the t the speed up like super fast and then hope for the best. Overlaps another object. I think it's these trees that are in the way. <gasps> oh my gosh, we could put it right here. That would be kind of nice. But is it worth $150,000 to be able to sleep instantaneously to move to the next day? Hmm. Because then we would have to make sure that we make enough off this corn to buy all of the equipment to plant again next season. And I need a lot of money. We need so much money to plant. I think we're going to wait. I think we're going to wait on that. I think we're going to try to see what we can get out of this. I'm going to go ahead and just speed up time. And I want to get harvesting. I want to get going. This, this, this John Deere, this is, mm, this is beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous. Okay, so I changed my mind because you can speed up the time to 120 times. However, that is going to take me forever of sitting here waiting. So we're going to buy the house. We're going to buy the house and we're just going to do it. We're just going to see what happens. Um, noob player tries out farm manager and fails spectacularly. That I have a feeling is probably going to be the name of the video. Okay, how do I rotate this? There we go. All right. We are done. Uh, let's go ahead. Let's take this over to the farmhouse. We're going to sleep. And then we're going to put all of our money, <laughs> hopefully, into getting the corn out and selling it at the highest price we can. Now, we have nowhere to store it. So I... Oh, God. There goes the sign. Oh, geez. I'm turning, like, super fast. And I need to be careful here. 
This John Deere has tracks on the front. I can't even believe it. So yes, like I was saying, uh, basically the goal of this is if this all works out, hopefully we will have a really good uh, farm to start with. We can make some decent money off of it and we can progress in the game. We can buy more fields. We can check out new industries, new things like that. And I'm hoping that this field is money. I'm really, really hoping that this field is just like a like a field of gold. That's That's what I need it to be. So you know what? I'm just going to go ahead. I'm going to line the combine up here. We are going to unfold this bad boy. Oh my gosh. Look at the size of this combine. Oh, it's beautiful. So we need to get lined up on the rows. Oh, darn it. So that right there is about lined up. We're gonna hop out and we're gonna wait until it's ready to harvest. I only have to wait two days. Two days and then we can start taking out this field and hopefully making buku bucks. It's crazy how much the, the sleep thing is worth to me. It was worth $150,000 just so we could immediately skip to the next day. <laughs> but we're gonna be utilizing it the entire series. So like, it makes sense to me. All right, corn looks good. We're sleeping to the next day. All right, it is a beautiful, beautiful day. Um, growing, ready to harvest. It's not ready to harvest yet? Are we, what the heck month are we in? October, it looks like maybe they planted it late October. Ooh, okay, so we're only gonna have one day to get this out. Corn growing. Let's see what the, uh, let's see what our corn prices are right now. So corn is not super great. If we could wait until January, that'd be amazing. But I mean, we, I just, we don't have the option right now. Unfortunately, we don't have the option. So we're going to go ahead and sleep till tomorrow and hopefully start harvesting some of our wonderful corns. All right. Our corn is ready to harvest. Let's check out our new combine. We are probably going to hire the work because the workers typically do a better job than I think I ever will. But you know what? We got to make at least a pass. Okay. So let's go ahead. Let's turn on. Uh, Wait, we need to. Un oh, we need to unfold the, um, the harvester first. Oh, look at that. Wonderful little collection bin. Oh, my gosh. Turn on harvester. Oh my gosh. Here we go. Enable straw swath. What does that do? Straw is not available for the current crop type. Okay. All right, so let's get rolling here. Oh my gosh. We're filling up good. Oh, I don't know if we're going to make enough money off of this, though. I don't know. We'll see. It looks like I'm kind of drifting over a little bit let's get back over here we can we can take out another row at a time there we go oh no nope. there we go beautiful oh my gosh look at all of the corn coming in this is what i'm talking about we do have two three thousand liters of corn already Hmm, 19%. This is, this is going well. I'm just hoping that we have enough money to be able to, to plant it. I mean, worst case scenario, we lease the equipment to plant it, you know? Worst, absolute worst case scenario. I don't want to do that, but we can. You know, that pass really didn't take too long. We're at 37% already. I think we're just going to go ahead and do this ourselves. Look at this beautiful corn harvesting oh it's so good i love that it, you can actually see it like the corn going in between each of the um each i don't actually know what those are called i don't know if they're called tines or what like the, the the middle parts uh very cool very neat oh we're not gathering everything now like i said i could i could hire this out but oh, we are going to be already so so like cramped for money like i kind of just want to do it myself and I mean, realistically, it's only gonna take like 15, 
15 passes to do this, maybe? I don't know. <laughs> I guess we'll find out. Now, with that final pass, what are we at? 79%. We have 12,000. 12,000 liters. Which only means if it's $1,000 per liter, we're only going to make $12,000 so far. <laughs> Not great. See if we sold in the better season when corn was a higher price that would be better so what we might do is we'll probably sell what we have to and then i think maybe we'll just leave the corn in the harvester until the corn prices go up to hopefully make a little bit more because i'm gonna tell you right now i think we're gonna have to probably uh probably lease next year's equipment all right it is selling time we're gonna go ahead and lower the header we're gonna detach here we're gonna go sell this we have sixteen thousand one hundred and seventy six liters of corn ready to go and you know what actually because money is so tight let's see where the best place right now is gold crest valley of course of course which we'd have to rent a train um so it looks like johnson's farmer's market might be our next best bet where is that and how far away is it let's see what we got here oh that is so far away but that's gonna give us quite a bit more i think it's worth the journey all right we'll head over there you know it actually doesn't take too long to get over here when you don't follow the roads and just go through everybody's fields it's it's quite nice it's quite nice now we could make more money if we could store it until the other seasons like i mean i wouldn't be surprised to see it go up to probably over a thousand but we just don't have that option currently what are you doing what are you doing like he just like turned specific whoa jeez, dude oh we're turning here fresh produce uh well guess what i got you i got your extra fresh produce fresh off the field Oh, you know what? We're going to have to swing around for this one, aren't we? Hopefully we can make this work. All right, let's go ahead and let's send the pipe out. Oh, that is such a massive pipe. Oh, no. I don't know if I'm going to be able to sell it here or not. Okay, we're going to have to do, we're gonna have to do this like sideways. Oh, geez. Oh, geez. There we go. Okay. Here comes the money. All right, we, I mean, we made it. We made a decent little a bit, but not a whole lot. So we made eleven thousand two hundred sixty-two off of that. Let's go ahead and put this pipe back in. Uh, not folding, pipe. And then the other pipe, and then it's gonna fold. Up. Wait, interesting. Can we fold? Let's go ahead and fold it up, and let's head back. Sixteen thousand was not like 250,000 <laughs> was not enough oh will we will we recover I don't know only time will tell oh I still took out that sign darn it all right let's gather some more money I mean we might make a decent a little bit off this mm, I don't know like how much how much have we how much have we harvested already I mean that was 16 so I mean maybe what one two three four maybe five harvests total so maybe like 50 60 grand which i mean that's a whole lot better than the grass that we were doing then again we owned all the equipment for grass so uh yeah you know let's, just, let's see what the inside of this cab looks like oh my gosh so this is the kind of cab that has gps and everything on it that is super cool now i don't really oh darn it darn it darn it i had the wrong button i don't know if they have gps incorporated into this game or not leave a comment down below let me know because um 
that would be kind of cool as well but i don't know if that's actually incorporated it, this tractor is definitely equipped with it or this harvester is but i don't know that it's actually like is that a functionality in the game i don't even know no i missed some corn darn it Okay, so what I want to do is I actually want to do, uh, I want to take a, a, a row off of this end right here because of the house. We're going to take it off this way so that way we have room to turn around and stuff like that when we start coming back the other directions. And look at that. Now we have all the room to turn around in the world. Much better. And that is another full load ready to be taken over. Wow. I mean, that's going to be another 16 grand. Heck yes. You know, I got to say one of my favorite pastimes is crossing the interstate with a combine the, on a road that doesn't exist. Like this is just like, come on, tell me this is just not like one of the best things ever. <laughs> and then running through this person's field. Oh yeah, it's good. It's a good time. You know, we really actually could, since we have so much, it might actually be worth it to sell to Goldcrest Valley. If we get $300 more per, per thousand, like that's, I mean, we'd pay for the train rental almost immediately. And I'm not 100% sure how the train works. But if we throw everything there, that would give us so much more. And you know what? That's oh, I wonder, is that like free storage? If we throw it into there, wait for prices to go up and then rent the train when prices are high and then try to deliver Goldcrest Valley when the prices are the highest. Is that how that works? Should we experiment? Let's experiment with this. Let's see if we can. Let's see if we can make this work. Because look at Grain West Silo. Grain West Silo for the train to load. Oh, and it's literally right. We got to try it. We've got to try it because that might, that might work. So we've made so far 11,262. Let's see what we make off of renting a train. I'm going to, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to drop this load in the silo. We're going to rent the train. We're going to sell it to Goldcrest. And we're going to see how this works because I think, I think it's going to be, it's going to be so much, it's going to be worth it. We're going to make so much more. Ooh, this is going to be interesting. We've got a, uh, that's a loading. Oh no. Don't tell me the unloading is inside. <gasps> oh, it is. There's no, Hey, look it. We got a collectible. We got $1,000 for that. I don't think there's any way that we can actually unload into this. Hmm. The other one's outside. No, the other one's not outside, is it? Is this one outside? Nope. Ooh, so we would have to use a truck in order to do this you know what let's do this let's rent a truck let's see how much it is to rent a truck so it's 5600 to lease that so it's like eight grand eight grand to lease this but if we unload all of it let's do it let's try it Ooh, look at us in a big rig. Ooh, this is exciting. All right, so we are connected up. Why does it look like one wheel is spinning the other direction? All right, let's take this home. Let's load this bad boy up. All right, let's go ahead and let's open the cover of this bad boy. Let's get this guy filled up here. Oh, this is going to be so much nicer. There we go. We are filling her up. Oh, this truck can hold a lot too. Okay. So how full is this truck? Oh, it's 62% full already. 
Oh, holy moly. This truck might not be able to pull very much of this. Okay, so let's do this. Let's go and test this with the uh, the train. Oh my gosh, pulling this in here is super cool. All right, so let's see. Is it not giving us the unload option? Tip side front. Does it not work? Tip side front. What does that do? Start overloading corn. It looks like it's going in. Not 100% sure. All right, let's pull this out of here. Now, is there a way for me to see how much I have here? So, okay, corn. Yeah, 16, 199 is how much I have. So in theory, we can just drop this in here, wait for prices to go up for gold crest and then just sell it. Unless they're gonna charge me like a storage fee, but I think that's, I think that'll work. All right, so let's fill up the semi. Let's fill up the train, and then uh, let's wait for prices to go up. So I went ahead and harvested an AI for this because now we can bring the semi up and offload it when it starts getting full, and then run it over to the uh, run over to the train station there. Yeah, this makes sense now. I was gonna say before it didn't really make sense because I didn't really have anything else to do, but now we have other stuff we can do. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the corn as it makes its pass back. And then from there, we'll just harvest it. We'll just, we'll go and store it. I mean, now there's actually a cool little thing, a feature with this, um, with this, this SIM dashboard that I was actually wanting to check out where it can actually match speeds of your equipment. So I'm going to check that out as we do this. I'm going to go ahead and just kind of pull like right here. I have to like kind of guesstimate where the boom's going to be. Actually, if I switch, change cruise control, dismiss AI worker. Mm. I don't know if I can actually toggle to pipe out or not. We'll see. All right, so here he comes. Is he going to pipe out? Mr. AI, can you pipe out, please? Oh my gosh, it's actually going to happen. It's actually going to happen. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, and the speed sync worked. It did not work. Okay, the speed sync did not work. But we can go ahead and take all of this. You know what? I think he's only running at six miles per hour. So if I go ahead and set my cruise control down to six, and then I catch up, we hit cruise control. Oh my gosh. Perfect. All right, and now he's done. So I'm just gonna go ahead and head out over here and drop it off. Now, hopefully it, they'll have more on the way back next time, but still not bad. All right, so this is going good. Let's see. We have 37,296 liters of corn at the standby. Now, we are going to be selling this to Goldcrest Valley, so hopefully, I'm not positive, but hopefully July, January, what month are we in? November. So hopefully January we get a high, and we can sell, and then we'll be good. But that... It's going to be in the next episode because that is going to end this one. Thank you so much for coming out. Hopefully you're enjoying. Leave a comment down below. Let me know if you're enjoying. Let me know if there's anything um, that you think we should try, what we should do. I'm kind of just trying to have fun with the game, trying different things. Uh, like I said, I'm hoping that this becomes like a continuous save, this one. Uh, and this becomes a continuous series. But like I said, we're trying this. We're hopefully going to make enough money to, you know, replant this, 
reharvest, and then from there on, hopefully generate enough enough decent revenue from this field to where we can explore other options, other opportunities, maybe get a whole bunch of different, you know, different types of crops going because I'd like to I'd like to do more than just like, you know, uh corn. I'd also like to, you know, maybe have a field for soybeans and like I really want to do the grapes as well. I think that would be a lot of fun. I also want to check out like, you know, everything else basically. I want to check out everything. So hopefully we can uh start this field with corn. Maybe we'll alternate between corn and soybeans on this field. Once we have enough money to afford the equipment to do both, we basically just need a different head uh, for soybeans. So, yeah, but we've got the uh, we've got the combine, the harvester. We've got the corn head on it. It is good to go. We're renting a truck right now, so I got to finish this up. We'll get this field finished up, and, uh, yeah, we'll see how it goes. But, yeah, thank you so much for coming out. Have a wonderful rest of your day. If you're interested in Farm Sim 22, I have a link down below. It just goes to Steam. Um, but, yeah. Thanks again. Leave a like, subscribe if you think I earned it, and I'll see you in the next one.